Mrs. Gandhi, how tense is the situation on your frontiers with Pakistan? It's very serious indeed. The two armies are, are confronting each other. And of course, shelling has been going on for quite some time, even before I left. Do you really think it's possible that Pakistan would attack India with their present internal situations? Well, when there is the sort of chaos which they obviously have, they may take desperate action and feel that an external enemy might unite uh, some of the people there. What about you? Is there a situation in which you might attack Pakistan? Well, I hope not. India has always tried to be on the side of peace and negotiations and so on. But of course we can't um, uh, endanger our security in any way. Do you frankly expect to see war with Pakistan soon? It does look to many people as if it's inevitable. I don't think one can really give an answer to a question of this kind. But as I said, we are trying everything possible to prevent it. Why, why have you not felt <coughs> able to agree, as the Pakistani president has, and he suggested it, that you should withdraw some troops from your frontiers? Pakistan, as I moved its troops forward a considerable time before we did. Now, while they were there on our border, nobody raised any question that this would be, this endangers uh, peace, it endangers our country. Now, when we felt compelled uh, to, in the interest of our defense, uh, the whole world seems to have woken up. Now, it seems a very unrealistic situation to me. And as far as going back is concerned, our uh, positions are much further back. I mean, we don't have a second line that, is, uh, that could uh, serve us should uh, Pakistan decide to attack after all. So it would not be, I don't think I would be doing, doing my duty uh, to the country and to the people if we would agree. And one thing you must remember is that we have never, never attacked anybody. But we have been attacked three times. But do you support the Bangladesh guerrillas? Do you support a separate state in East Pakistan? You see, it's not a question of supporting or not. The question is what is likely to happen. I don't think we can shut our eyes to the situation in a neighboring state. I think, and I personally think that most of the world believes this, so they may not be willing to say it out openly, that Pakistan as it existed can never be the same again. But don't you think the situation on your frontiers might be less dangerous if you personally were to meet Yahya Khan, so that you understood each other's positions more clearly? Have you read some of uh, Yahya Khan, the president's speeches and interviews? Yes. Well, and do you still think it would serve a useful purpose? Maybe you would understand each other's positions on the frontier better. You'd understand why your troops are stationed there. No, I understand it perfectly well. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind. Our troops are stationed there because we were, are and we were threatened by the military regime of Pakistan in no uncertain words there has been a situation of indirect aggression. And I don't think that you could point out to me any other head of government who in the present circumstances would have been uh, so restrained. When the entire country is not restrained, I mean, it is great difficulty that we are holding the situation. And then what we get outside is to equate us with uh, a government which is, has killed more than a million people, which has created conditions of barbarity which I don't think the world has very seldom seen. Perhaps against the Jews in Hitler's time, but I don't think in any other uh, time of history has this sort of thing been witnessed. Do you, also, do you see yourself somehow being drawn into this, being involved in this in some way that you might have to intervene in East Pakistan? Out of, out of humanity, almost. Well, East Bengal is the affair of the leaders of East Bengal. Now, it's up to them what should happen there. Final question. The <coughs> refugees are still coming over and you have this enormous problem in India. How much longer can you sustain this? Well, we can't sustain it now <laughs> longer. It's, a <laughs> it's, a, it's now for some months it really has been something that's, uh, you know, water going higher and higher. What are you going to do about it? But something will have to be done. Well, well, one thing I must say that I'm absolutely determined that all the refugees of all religions must go back.
we are not going to absorb them in our population. Would you, if necessary, put them back by force? Well, I'm not uh, jumping uh, bridges before I come to them, but uh, I'm only sure of this that they have to go back. <laughs>